um so so one of those things that is important is is for example is algebra in mathematics algebra is very important so there are two things in algebra i mean among other things two things in algebra that are important is the is the fact is essentially is that you need to be able to essentially tr translate for example you see a sentence over here and this sentence for example 4 multiplied by sum of 9 and 2 for example right you need to be able to of course in english you should you, you should be of course you should be able to understand the meaning of this sentence what does it mean to say 9 multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2 in english hopefully you understand what that means right it just simply means a 4 which is multiplied by the sum of 9 and 2 meaning 9 and 2 i take 9 and 2 the sum of 9 and 2 meaning adding 9 and 2 together that sum whatever that is is multiplied by 4 right so that's meaning that 9 the sum of 9 and 2 is an 11 because 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 and then 11 multiplied by 4 is the same thing as 44 so the answer is 44 so this is how you understand this in English, meaning in simple written English, in words basically. And then the same thing you need to be able to translate it to a mathematical expression, meaning that you should be able to write, for example, 4 multiplied by, and then parentheses, the sum of 9 and 2, 9 plus 2, parentheses closed. That's, that's essentially how you would write, for example, this particular expression and and then also the other way around you need to work in in your mathematics as far as algebra is concerned you need to work you need to work through your algebra in such a way that you can understand essentially your mathematical expressions in the exact same way the other way around meaning that for example if for example some expression is given to you in mathematical language for example 9 uh, 9 multi excuse me a 4 for example a 4 multiplied by 9 plus 2 right so this is this is for example something that somebody has given to me when I, when i look at the expression i should be able to write write that down in english meaning that for example this i would write as 4 multiplied 4 multiplied by the sum of the sum of 9 9 of course you have to write in words so 9 and 2 right and then of course you can you can take it at, at a one step for further and for example this could this could this could mean that for example there is sima and there is mina sima has writ has 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 bought for example nine notebooks mina has bought for example two notebooks meaning that in total they have writ they have bought essentially nine plus two which is 11 notebooks and all of those notebooks essentially both of these two people have bought the exact same type of notebooks meaning the the price of the essentially the price for both of the notebooks were exactly the same right and so now what i have done is that i have for example this is just a tip this is just an example i have added the number of notebooks together meaning that now in total i have 11 notebooks here each of which costs for example four rupees so one notebook costs four rupees therefore essentially all the 11 notebooks would cost four times 11 which is 45 rupees right so that's that 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 that's one way that you can make sense of this expression okay and so if you are able to do this meaning that if you've done your work in algebra properly then um, um, then essentially what happens is that later on you can whenever for example you go into physics 
and some situation is given to you for example a ball is moving at the speed of for example so many meters per second and now for example how long is it going to take the ball to reach to such and such a, a place for example for example you want to know how how long is it going is it going to take for the ball to take to to reach to 200 or 3 400 meters away from the starting point for example then this situation then you will be able to translate it to some mathematical expression and then work out the answer and that means in simple language success in math, math mathematics success in physics success in your career and when you're successful in your career you're automatically successful in your life essentially